What's up guys, welcome back to Cardspot, my name is Ethan, and it's time for some news. So first up of course in the TCG we've had the release of Rarity Collection 25th Anniversary and with it all of the awesome reprints and really cool rarities that it provides. Um, it's been interesting to see like the short prints and things like that um, and it's a really fun set to open. If you haven't already feel free to check out my opening where I opened 6 boxes, you can check that out in the annotation above. In other news, Konami is giving players uh, in US and Europe the chance to go to Japan with an all-expenses-paid trip. Um, there are certain criteria that you have to fill to sort of register your eligibility, so I'll, I'll leave a link in the uh, description down below so that you can check that out. Unfortunately, it's not open to us players here in Australasia. Very sad. Uh, maybe next time. Sticking with TCG news, uh, we also have the localized names for the archetypes in Valiant Smashes now. So Memento is going to be called Mementotlin. Uh, Centurion is going to be Centur Dash Ian. I'm not sure why they did that, um, but I guess maybe just for any other cards that can mention Centurion in the future, perhaps. Um, and then finally, Valmonica is Valmonica, so not too much of a change for any of those, really. In OCG news, uh, we have a reprint of Void Imagination confirmed for the upcoming Terminal World pack. Uh, and it's basically a new artwork of Void Imagination showing sort of what happens after the first artwork of Void Imagination. So obviously an Infernoid card, um, and I'm keen to see what other alternate artworks we might get in this set. <laughs> it's a pretty pretty quick news video this week. There's not too much that's been happening, um, but let's look at some of the cool decks that have been topping around the place. The first one, kind of an unexpected win, Mechanko took out YCS Santa Cruz. So Vichel Verissimo de Silva piloted their Mechanko deck to first place, um, and it's a really interesting list. It's cool to see Gen and Ken in there. Um, I'm not a huge Mechanko aficionado, but uh, I, I mean, fair play to them for piloting a deck that realistically I don't think was on too many people's radars, uh, and they've done really well with it. Next up, we have an ABC Therian Synchron deck um, from the Gyor Regional. Um, it made top four, piloted by Kalita Patrick. Uh, and this is a really cool list as well. Of course, you've got the ABC core in there. You've got a couple of Theory and Regulus, a couple of Revolution Synchrons, um, and just packed to the gills with really good, strong spell cards. Uh, I thought it was really cool to see ABC having some success, particularly in the meta that we're in right now. And finally, if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know that this deck is close to my heart, a hero deck. An absolute chonker of a hero deck at that, 52 cards, um, got piloted by Team Duelist Alliance 671 at the Hagatna WCQ Regional. Um, what a list. You've got vanilla cards in there, Avian and Burstinatrix. Um, you've got D-Force in there, Crosskeeper, all sorts of things, just making it a really interesting looking list. Um, I would love to see how this deck plays. I'm going to have to see if there are any actual feature matches of this uh, WCQ available because I am intrigued. And finally, Master Duel news. We have a few updates coming in hot uh, as of October 30th, so right around when last week's video went up. Um, first off, we have a Forbidden and Limited list update. So Newly Forbidden is a Pointer of the Red Lotus. Newly Limited is Pot of Extravagance. And No Longer Limited, Tribrigade Fractal and Cyber Angel Ben 10. So a pointer following suit from where it's been, I believe in the OCG and the TCG, it's definitely banned in the TCG. Hand knowledge is a good thing in any format. There's also a new secret pack, Treasures of the Cosmic Ocean, uh, which include a lot of the Ice Jade uh, and Goaty cards, which is kind of cool, especially given that there's more Goaty support coming out very soon. And a new solo mode based on Bujins. Uh, and by completing the solo mode gate, you can obtain 300 Light Orbs, 300 Dark Orbs, 3 copies of Bujin Hiruko, 3 copies of Bujin Hirume, 1 pack of Bujin Susanoo Sleeves, 1 Bujin Amaterasu Icon, one Bujinte, Susanoo Icon, two Legacy Pack Tickets, and 200 Gems. It will be cool to delve into the Bujin lore a little bit more. It's really, I think, kind of a lore-rich archetype. Um, particularly the fact that like all of the Beast Warrior Bujins are based on Yu-Gi-Oh! GX characters. 
uh, like Yamato is based on um, Jaden, Mikazuchi is based on Chaz, etc. Uh, I think that'll be really cool. We also have some new accessories added to the game. There's Live Twin Lilla Treat and Promethean Princess Bestower of Flames sleeves, as well as a Ghost Trick Lantern um, Buddy and Pumpkin the King of Ghosts Promethean Princess Bestower of Flames icons and a deluxe icon frame, kind of showing off a bit of a Halloween-esque frame for your icon. And that is it. That is your news for this week. It's a bit of a quick one. There's nothing sort of too crazy, no huge reveals or anything like that. So it makes my job easy. Um, but hopefully you've enjoyed the video and found it somewhat helpful for whatever facet of the game that you're playing. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe. You can hit that notification bell to make sure that you don't miss out on any of our weekly videos. Um, and if you haven't already, as I mentioned earlier, feel free to check out our Rarity Collection opening. It was a lot of fun. Um, you'll find that I do the regular weekly news videos, and then I've got openings of new sets and other miscellaneous videos coming out. Um, so if that sounds like a bit of you, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.